Ano si Amam? On Monday. Ang deadline sa sa prelim exam. So oh, if yeah. So once again good afternoon to you Jay Mar and John Redo. So our um subject in APC 129 Post Harvest Technology. So as I have said a while ago, um we discuss about uh, we continue on physiological processes on production practices and its relationship to um, post harvest and now we are on the harvest team so uh, we have last time we have discussed about harvesting maturity indices also uh, importance in between the difference between physiological mature or horticultural mature basha <clears throat> so depending on the use no so physiologically a fruit will mature at the right like after 30 days no but depending sa kanyang horticultural use kung when it is used like as a vegetable like for instance for corn kung ang baby corn is used uh as, as a vegetable so we harvest it earlier than expected like or sweet corn so if it's a corn for feeds so we harvest them no after more than a month no so the characteristics of commodities harvested at proper stage of maturity the different types of maturity index Example, yung age, you count the numbers from planting to flowering and thesis or flower opening and so on. We also have the growing degree days, um, visual characteristics. So, ayun, may mga color chart, may mga sizes, even loc locular gel formation. So, this is asparagus, no? We determine its maturity by a um, knowing the or, sh or looking into the tip opening. So if this is a optimal maturity, well, this is already very mature, over mature rather. Or it could be physical, like specific gravity, the sinkers are more mature than the floater mango. And there's a lot of um, compactness of the cabbage, the firmness and tenderness using tenderometer. Uh, it could be compositional too, like the starch uh, content, total soluble solids, sugar content, titrable acidity, and even physiological, like you, uh, you take the respiration ethylene rate. Uh, you, this is the refractometer wherein you take the, the amount of sugar or the sweetness in pineapple. Mass uh, high tech, more high tech uh, analysis like the electronic nose, um, visible spectral images, imaging, and fluorescence imaging, or we call them those spectroscopic analysis. But these are very, even this and um, NMR and MRI imaging are used in medical technology, no, but we also use them for plants especially for post harvest and the requirements if you're going to establish which among maturity index are you going to um follow now we just stop here and um so we were going to discuss further on the maturity index for each crop so those were the the things that have discuss on the previous videos that please check on them no so so we have here um jason jmar and john reno so hope hopefully yung iba darating pa so so as we start um as i have mentioned earlier those are the different maturity index no so if um, like uh, earlier I told you, for example, this is a very high tech mass spectrometry of of determining the quality of crops that are ready for harvest. But uh, you should follow 
if you're going to, what what type of maturity index you're going to use it should be simple and um objective siya rather than subjective when we say objective meron talagang specific volume number or it's not only based on judgment or subjective and quality related siya sa storage life and um meron siyang progressive change with maturity and it could even predict the maturity every year no and it's a very applicable and and most importantly it's not expensive so to continue we have first avocado so you do you know um jason how to harvest a avocado should we harvest them green or or red Should we harvest na green pa ma'am green yeah so um, since wala na pong banana ma'am yes but dili, some avocado will not turn green no they will just like um the color will just change from green to light green in green fruited varieties kasi meron ding purple cultivars which are fully colored talaga siya before harvest na meron siyang ready streaks at the stem end and so another way aside from the color change is when the it when you tap it uh meron siyang hollow sound these are for loose seeded varieties so actually depending on the varieties and if you're going to measure the oil content my eight percent oil content na siya so sampling lang gagawin dyan so if these are for um plantation of avocado already and for banana how do we find jmar how do we know that it's already ready for harvest harvesting but just by merely seeing it without even knowing na kailan kaya ito tinanim at kailan kaya siya nagflower uh, within the days of maturity ma'am yes naman siya specific naman siya guy niya specific na uh, date ma'am uh, days na uh, maturity yes pero ma kasagaran po, pero kasagaran po ma'am kung mag Harvest po gana ma, ang uba na diretso na yellow, yellow, yellow na dyan siya. Yeah, so it actually depends on the customer, no, or the, the you know, the transportation or the expected uh, consumer. Kung ano, matagal, it's for for export or for domestic use only. But by merely seeing, that's very good, J. Mark. Uh, but my merdy seeing the banana, pag nag-dry na yung leaves niya, it's really, it should be harvested already, no? And we also measure the fullness of the fingers using this one. Um, may calibration tayo. Um, if uh, it's still three quarter, it hindi pa yan ready for harvest. Hanggang light full to full three quarter. So, kailangan ganito ang shape niya full size so with a calibration size of 38 to 46 units in the middle finger of the outer world of the second hand so be specific and yung sabi mo kanina the number of days from shooting or appearance of false hand so um depending on the variety which we will uh will be shown later in the next slides and the yellowing of the first hand, sabi mo kanina, at the base and core, not really totally yellow, pero pag yung first hand na niya nag-yellow nag na, so it's also good to harvest already. So these are the stages based on color maturity. So if it's, uh, if you can see parang nag -may yellow na siya, no? It's not totally green, although you can still harvest them green, so that's stage one. And you just apply ethylene so it can be ripened, but for uniform ripening, but um, without using a, a ripening agent, so you can harvest at this stage, stage two, when your market is for transport, no? So, ito, overripe na. So, as you can see, kung magdalaga ni ka, if you're gonna bring a banana in your bag, in your pocket, at this five to six to seven na uh, in, which is within 24 hours 
ano na yan, no? Overwrite na talaga. Wala so, tayo naman. Yes, lata na siya, no? So, magbaon ka. So, hinahinaya na lang yung magkaon para pag-abot sa inyuhang picnic or sa beach ninyo swimming. <laughs> Di na siya malapa kay Nana Sumtian. Anyways, tigil akong choke. Um, these are the maturity of different varieties of banana based on the age of the bunch, no? From shooting yung kana, alam niyo yung shooting ng banana ay kapag lalabas na yung kanyang flower or shoot kanang puso, right? So, uh, for banana, this is estimated to be 12 to 14 weeks from shooting. Depende kasi yan sa varieties for latundan, latundan, 9 to 11 weeks. Senorita, 40, medyo matagal siya. I know, earlier, 40 to 49 days um, after removal ng male flori inflorescence. So, we have to remove the male inflorescence para mas ma-focus na siya on the fruit development and quality. And we also have bunggulan na variety, 12 to 14 weeks from shooting and saba, 20 to 40 weeks, which is mas pinakamatagal siya no, after appearance ng last hen. And the Cavendish cultivars are 90 days long from shooting. About uh, one month more or parang lakatan latundan din. So, for breadfruit, um, usually, of course, you know what's breadfruit, right? So, or read. Uh, you don't know. <laughs> Kinda. Lima ang Tagalog ata, but Satwa is, um, anyway, um, so, I will, I can show you anyway, in the, in the, so, i-google nato na siya, kahinay sa kung kwan, eh, breadfruit, so, actually, I came from Samoa, and you know that breadfruit is one of their staple food. Not unlike kulo day na tawag, ma'am. Yes, kulo. So aside from taro, yung kanilang ito, no. So aside Ay, from taro. Oh, murag, murag narang, ma'am. Kamansi, ma'am, kamansi. Yes, or scientifically known as Artocarpus altilis, and while jackfruit is scientifically known, kafamilya siya nang Jackfruit under the Morrissey. Artocarpus. Tama na yung scientific name. Kulo man na siya, ma'am. Yes, kulo. Kulo, kulo. Nana sa mua. So, mukha on money. Kulo nga kung liso na ma'am. Kato man siya. Kulo sa bisaya. Ma'am, kato man siya kung ginasagol sa salad, ma'am. Yeah, ah, kaya na pong ginasagol. Murag lang ka, ang ginasagol po natin. Ah, murag lang ka. Oo. Ma'am, ah. Ako ma'am, ginalungag na muna. Kuslo sa sopa. And this is very nutritious, no? Nutritious siya actually. And you know what? When um gina process na uh, na as ano? Actually, I have I just have published uh, a paper, a research article on utilization of breadfruit as a flower or flower. A um yung tagdon. Basta uh, harina. No, so you can uh, harvest this one uh, if there are like polygons on the rind become larger and the space are like flat already or wide and about 15 to 19 weeks from fe female inflorescence detection after flowering. And of course, you know what's carambola or balimbing, this one. And sa atin kasi, it's not really high valued. But in other countries, like in the South Pacific, uh, it's very, Walimbing is, a, is, a, is actually a, what they call that, is, is actually marketed well. Also in Hawaii. And you can find this, even this fruits, even in hotels, no? So they change from green to yellow and color break usually predomin predominantly yellowish green and after fruit set about 11 to 13 weeks. So usually nasa 
um, two months or more. Three. So, meron siya mga stages, no? Index, dark green. So, ito hindi pa ready for harvest. But this one, may tinge of yellow na siya, mature na yan. And mag-overripe naman siya pag masyadong yellow. This is overripe already and not suitable for export. Pero pag kakainin mo ka agad, okay pa naman siya. So, for citrus, um, Si uh, pomelo especially is my um my expertise kasi yun yun ang dissertation ko. So uh, there are a lot of types of citrus. We have mandarin and Valencia oranges. And if meron ng 25% color change and 8 to 8.5% total soluble solids and 0.52% to uh, titrable acidity, so ready for harvest na yan. And yung kalamon din or uh, limoncito, if it's uh, the size, of course you know by the size, the limoncito kung ready na siya for, marami na siyang juice, no? Kung about 50% na yung juice niya. And for pumelo naman, kailangan 50% color change then with about 10 degree bricks total soluble solids. And for tangerine, 13 degree bricks, total soluble solids. And sweet orange, nasa 15 degree bricks. And for durian, no, depende rin sa varieties. But how do you know, um, Albert? Um, how do you know na mag-harvest mag na kag... Unsay favorite ni mo na variety sa durian? Uyat, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Same as me. Right. So, how would you know na, na may durianan? Ang mapalit Ula, lang ma'am. Wala, ma'am. Kasilingan lang. Antonista na mo rin. Ah. So, how would do you know na it's uh, the, kanang tamis na siya o lami na hinug na ang durian kung mapalit ka sa palengke? Umot, ma'am. Yeah, exactly, no? Only that? So these are the things that will help you also know if the durian is ready for harvest. Although mahulog rin na siya iyaha kung talaga mature na siya, no? If it falls on the ground and it's ripe when gives off distinct, distinctive odor. And if it tap mo siya, mayroon siyang dal hollow sand. But with its skin, mas ano, ano naman, di naman siya magandang itap. Ma'am, ako yung kalma mo ba? Yeah. Kaning pang-harvest sa durian, ma'am, ka nang ginahulat ro po ni tagak, ma'am, or ka nang one. Harvestan yun siya, ma'am, na upulat o pahinog. Ano sa to? Ano yan, durian, ma'am, ba? Nang hulat o mo na sila matagak yun, or ka nang i-harvestan yun? No, naiuban na, ginaharvest talaga siya, no? Gani na niya, pahinogon lang. Oh, sorry ha, kay na, ano, wala ko kasabot. So, um, yes, naiuban na, ginahiktan gani siya. Yes, ma'am. Kaya para inig ka ng, before siya matagak, um, para, para, para di siya madaon. Para siya, oo. Oh. Pero usually, ang iba, kasi ang durian is actually uh, a non-climacteric siya, no? Uh, so, dapat hula po hindi mo siya nga muhinog siya. And... Kaya wala, ang yung lasa is different kung dili siya mature ng ma-harvest unlike mango o banana nga. mo develop lang gihapon ang iyahang taste o ang iyahang color. But for um, for durian, kailangan i-make sure mo talaga na humot na siya no? or matured na siya. So have you seen a red durian before? O ma'am, wala pa. So it's Dorio Graviolens. So at least now, it's also available here in in uh, BPI, no? Diha ako sa ilahan nakakita. Og, Dario Gravulens. And even, uh, what do you call this? Uh, Spindus? Dorian? Yes, Spindus Dorian. So, have you seen this one? Dorian nga wala siya tusok, no? Hindi pa nitan man na ahak. So, naa siya actually na ako'y photo but 
I don't know if it's here. So I actually have a photo. I can I will find it and I will show you later kasi wala man lang dito sa search. Na uh, wala siya is fine na durian, no? But it's another variety. So going back to durian anyway. So uh the change of color is also another determinant whether it's matured already with a green tinge of yellow. And yung kanyang abscission layer here is bulging. Ang fine stiffness, stiff siya with maturity. And the carpal suture becomes, uh, eto, suture niya, noticeable. And the sap from the stem becomes clear. And usually, you count the number of days from anthesis or flower opening. So usually, timan animo. When should a flower and then you count the days. So for D99, 90 to 100 days siya after anthesis or flower opening. The atrabine, the chene, arencilium, usually nasa 100 to 125 as well as puyat and kanyaw. Okay. We also have guava, no? Um, it's also a climacteric... Uh, no, nine climacteric siya. So, from yellow to half ripe siya, dapat. No, make it softer. But, depende rin sa variety. So, as you can see, uh, and also horticultural use. Kasi, we don't, ex we don't want sometimes guava to be yellow talaga. Ito siya. Sometimes, we want it to be just white and crispy, de ba? So, we harvest earlier. And for jackfruit, yung kanina, spike color changes from dark green to greenish yellow. And yung kanyang spike is very wide. Then usually, ginatap siya no, to, to produce a hollow sun. And if it's the uh, other, the odor is really very noticeable. And for lanzones, it's a non-climateric crop also. So, kailangan... Um, the, all the bunch, no, talagang yellow. And wala na siyang green. Otherwise, um, hindi siya matamis, maasim. And the pedangka loses green color and soft fruit and the latex is also less. So, for mango, we have a lot of varieties and these are also the different types of index that you're going to use. Una yung number of days from flower induction. So, Usually, nasa 100 to 125 days from flower induced induction. And yung kanina, kapag mag-harvest ka ng isa, ilagay mo sa, sa water with 1% solution. So, yung mga sinkers are mature than the floaters. At saka yung tinatawag nilang bloom or bluish whitery powdery substance on the peel of mango and grapes. Yung merong ano, parang pulbo. So you thought na may nilagay lang yan na ano no na na what do you call that um fungi side but it's actually the bloom and of course the shape of the mango immature half mature and this is the fully mature one Ito yung sinasabi ko kanina that if it sinks it's matured pag etong floater are immature So merong stages din ang ripening ng mango no these are for chukanan immature siya and just not suitable for for ready consumption pero pag i-transport mo siya for for distant market so pwede no and these are over mature na not ready for not good for export so for mangosteen naman um from green it will color its Peel, no? Pinkish pericarp. Mature na siya. It's also a non climactery crop, so you should harvest when mature. And from reddish brown with purple tinge peel, ripe for export and and um, good for deep freezing. Brownish purple peel for local market. Pwede na siya. Kasi madali lang din itong magtigas, no? So, hindi na siya consumable. And days after anthesis, uh, you can count 116 days with a 24.8 total soluble solids. 
So, ito yung mga color index niya and yung from pale, yellow, green, pink, black shipping, pinkish red, maroon, dark, violet, black. So, you harvest at maroon, red. And for papaya, we, if it's also non, uh, it's a climacteric this time. So, but the, um, you can, there are ready for harvest in peel, when the color peel changes now at the fruit apex. Dito. So, usually dito kasi mauuna ang color change na than the, yung merong pedangkel. Then for so for sugar accumulation usually also happens in the final phase of development. So for solo papaya, kailangan may six percent color change na siya. So matamis na siya with eleven percent total soluble solids. And sinta papaya, yellowish tinge peel color uh, to fully yellow from nine to twelve days at with eleven t TSS. And for red flesh legacy special, mature green stage pwede, no? I-harvest mo. Depende rin yan sa variety. And this is not ready for harvest yet. Kailangan talaga meron siyang tinge of yellow at the apex. And depende rin sa iyong market. Kung long distance, export, or domestic lang. And this one are overripe na din and not suitable for export but for for table uh, no eating or ready for eating na siya, pwede naman. So, next is pineapple. So, you, it's also a non-climactory crop. So, kailangan meron ng yellowing sa shell bago mo i-harvest. And usually, flatten yung eyes wide and yellow of groups of the first two layers ng eyes at the bottom of the fruit. So, if you going to check, meron na yung 15 to 17 degree breaks. And you, you can also use specific gravity. So, yung mga sinker, mas matamis kaysa of floater in pineapple. So, meron niya mga index, no? Ang index 1, this one, with, um, is, this is not suitable for, for export. Especially with 7 to 20 days transit time. So, index 2 is suitable for Fresh export, seven days transit, and index three is for domestic. So et so eto um domestic siya. Hindi na siya pwedeng for export, kasi ma overwrite na yan. So another index then eto. So kailangan may nagsa start naman ng yellowing ng pineapple sa base, not in the a uh, in the apex. No. So, yung 4 and 5 are suitable for domestic market. But index 5 is too matured na, no? So, meron na yan siyang, overripe na yan siya. Okay, for rambutan naman, um, usually, pag mag-change ang color from green to red, yung spin turns and skin. For example, a maharlika 12 weeks from fruit sets with 80 degree TSS. So, Override will have drier peel, powdery water puff, and uh, due to development ng cavity between them. So, if you know what, if you have Chico, then yellowish brown skin yan when rub and wala ng latex flow. And for Guyabano or Sar Sop, uh, peel changes from dark to shiny light green, pero green paran siya, but if it's already shiny, then it's ready for harvest with. 11% TSS and the spines are set apart or darkened or easily break. For sugar apple or artist, pag daling of fruit skin and widening ng, ng sig segments with greenish to creamy yellow siya. And star apple naman, depende kung green or purple siya. So, from, from green to shiny light green or from dull green to purple or dark purple. For coconut naman, yung coconut usually 8 months from spot opens. And meat is usually hard-boiled rice consistency. 
And for strawberry, if it's 75% color is pink or red for near market and 20-40% only kapag malalayo or for export. So this is an example of the color percentage and its soluble solids acid ratio. No? So mas mataas, syempre, mas matamis yung 100% color but uh, see, uh, strawberry is also a non-climacteric crops. Now for vegetable like asparagus, usually by sizes yan at 5 to 8 inches above the ground yung spear length niya. Baby corn for um, two days after silk appears if it's for processing and three days after for local market. And usually the sizes are 9 to 11 centimeter length. And 1 to 1.5 to 1.7 diameter. For beans and peas and pods naman, uh, the tape should be pliable and snap easily. That's why we just snap them. So as shown on the photo. And for broccoli, yung compactness ng curd and usually bright green na siya. So, immature yung puffy and over-mature naman kapag nagka-crack na sa sobrang ano. So, this cauliflower is also a harvest and when the curd is also compact and creamy white in col color. So, um, over-matured and kapag soft, elongated, loose naman yung mga flower clusters niya, no? Or turn to yellow-green. So, for cucumber, um, ito yung sizes, no? 15 to 20 centimeter long with dark green firm skin and soft seeds. So, pag actually, it, hindi pa siya talaga physiologically mature, immature pa lang siya. But that's what we want for cucumber as a consumer, kaya horticulturally uh, matured, matured na siya. So, kung gamit niya ay sweet pickles, so nasa 4.6 cm and 8 to 10 cm pag dill pickles. For eggplant naman, shiny and dark purple. At saka over mature na siya kapag dal na yung color. And for garlic, if the uh, leaves is yellow and bulb is spherical at about 105 days from planting and days after planting, kung 115 da for storage naman siya. So, i-harvest mo siya ng matagal if you, want, if you still want to store it. So, ginger, about 10 to 11 months from planting kapag local market lang. And 5 to 7 months from planting for pickle and salting. So, you know, uh, aabot talaga siya ng 1 year. And 6 to 8 months for dehydration. And 7 to 10 months for export. So, depende sa gamit yung pag-harvest mo. And gourds, when you just pinch them or purse them with your thumb, if they're tender, then they are ready for your vegetable soup. And hand jewel melons, 40 to 50 days from emphasis. Ito. So, hand jewel and other melons are more difficult to harvest at the proper stage of ripeness kasi medyo ano na siya. Although these are still climacteric, non-climacteric rather, so you need to harvest them when they are matured already. For lettuce naman, uh, the heads are fairly firm and fully formed. And just the same with uh, the pag over-matured din siya, yung internodes na elongated na. And it's actually bitter. And for marshmallow, yung mas madali lang siyang matanggal sa kanyang pedicels because of the abscission layer. So, half sleep for distant market and three-fourths sleep for full sleep for nearby market only. For okra, by size then 6 to 10 centimeter, and usually 4 to 6 days after flower will no, tender pods pa siya. And you can harvest okra two times a day, especially when the weather is hot. And onion, nasa 50 to 75% of the plant leaves are already wilting or falling down and the neck is small na, nag, ano na siya. 
And for pepper, shiny green turning red yellow. Ito. These are the maturity teens. So, these are climacteric fruits. So, they can be harvested at green at mag mahihinig din yan. Or the color will just change. And for potato, the leaves turn dry. And peel don't slip readily. Or meron siyang feathering. And super rice na kanyang skin. For sweet corn, the kernels are still plump. And meron siyang milky sap when you purse it. For tomato, of course, you just see that color change. Uh, and also by um, checking the jelly, no? The jelly-like material here. So these are the, the color chart. You can harvest them with this uh, green stage kasi climactalic siya. So breaker stage kapag gusto mo na siyang gamitin agad. Or for nearby market, longer market here. Longer market from stage 2, 1. And three, and ito over naman siya pag for market. For storage and transport. So, singka moss or jaikaima, usually 3 to 3.5 months from sowing for fresh consumption. And usually, toppling and yellow, yellowing of vines is an indication. For watermelon naman, you just top it. And if it has a dalo hollow sign, kasi hindi naman masyadong mabango ang watermelon. So, kailangan tumunog talaga siya. And leaves start to dry kapag nasa field and ground color turns from light straw to a yellow color. So, meron din siyang uh, color uh, index. So, not matured. Pag open mo ganito siya, ito na yung matured and matamis. So, pag ito, hindi na talaga yan tatamis pa because it's an, a non-climactory crop. Yung mga flowers also have different index on how to harvest. Like Amaryllis, two flowers are showing color and standing loose. For Anthorium naman, kailangan fully open yung spot. And the spotics already has the red color. For baby aster naman, most of one third to one half of the flowers should be open. For baby's breath, flowers up the top are open while half or all flowers open for immediate use. And birds of paradise are talagang dapat fully open. Um, Kalya lily, half open. Carnation, half open then. For chrysanthemum, kailangan talaga fully open before center petals reach full size or lost green color. And one-third petals are open kapag uh, i-storm mo pa siya. Gerbera, outer of the florist, should have color already. And for her